Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome back to one of Game Dame Reacts where we have yet another new Zelda game which makes me very fucking excited. I wasn't able to go and watch the Nintendo Direct just because A, I was working, B, uh, obviously I like to separate the trailers for you guys. So let's go ahead and watch the announcement trailer for The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Okay, Link, coming in hot like that. See, I'm not usually a big fan of the chibi art style, personally. Um, that's just me, personally. Get his ass. Uh-oh, Link's getting fucked. You have to go s We get to play a Zelda? Wait, that is so awesome! We finally get to play a Zelda. I hate how it's in a chibi format, though. Like, I wish they could have given it, like, the art style from, like, Twilight Princess or Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. But I get it. Some people may like this art style. It's just not my personal preference. Am I gonna play it? Yes, I've played. I've played them all. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's not gonna be a bad game. Hello. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom. And it's the first one we get to play as Zelda. Now it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? No, she fights with magic. Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. Which I appreciate. I do more, like that they are experimenting. Um, I do like top-down isometrics in general. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule. Strange it reminds me of, of old school, um, including Link. What's now it called? Alone, uh, the fairy like Game Tri Boy, which I, which is why I do think it is cute still. Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the tri rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. Once I love how it's a fucking table. You can recreate it when Hell yeah, like. tables. A yeah, this looks exactly like a path, revamped version of, of a um, leg up. Just like that. Like a Game Boy game. You can which I do like. Boxes, old beds and unusual things like water blocks. <laughs> how you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Oh, that's so cool, actually. Echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. I actually really like that. I think that's really interesting uh, way to go about it, different. especially trying to get to different you can areas. Pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. Oh, all right, Zelda, that's throwing fucking rocks. You could strong as shit. Echoes of monsters. What? So, they'll fight by your side. Okay, that is actually so sick. Different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, after all. So this is all about. This is how Zelda fights. I actually really, really like that. It just shows like a different way to play, and you got to use your brain instead of going in. I have sword. Let me slice. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. Which is in perfectly capable hands. I mean, come on. How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. <laughs> I'm sure there's way too many echoes. Battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. I mean, yeah, there's no way it's going to be completely the same at all whatsoever. September 26th. 
A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available. Oh, I love that though. It looks so cute. Playing as Zelda in this new adventure. I am looking forward to playing as Zelda. Why? Because you actually get to play as the princess and it's not something that has been done before except like in Smash Brothers, but still like that is so fucking cool that they have finally made a game for Zelda. It has been way too long, but they need to make a game that's more like in the art style of like Tears of the Kingdom, personally. I would love to play a Zelda in that instance in the big open world, or at least like switch between characters. I mean, the only other thing you get to play a Zelda is like Hyrule Warriors, but like it's not a main Zelda game. I think this is gonna be so fucking cool. And the fact that it comes out this year already, I am now having more of a backlog of games that I need to play. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time as always. But please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know my YouTube is up. You can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.